Hey all and welcome to another awesome tutorial. My name is Luke and in this video I'll step you through the process I used to make this amazing little scene that will fit nicely on my feature wall. Dioramas with water features always seem to draw the attention of passers-by and this one will certainly get their attention. Most of the heavy lifting was done by the new BMO laser cutter that was sent to me from Flux to use on future projects. Compared to the cheap laser cutters I've used in the past, this one was so refreshing to use. The instruction manual is extremely easy to follow with clear pictures detailing each step of the process. And it's relatively small, so it won't take up a lot of room in your garage. The bridge itself was downloaded from Thingiverse. It resembles Iron Bridge located in the UK and I thought it would be a perfect test for the BMO laser cutter. The original files were quite a bit larger than HO scale, which is what I'm working in. So using Illustrator, I made some changes to the scale and I also made some aesthetic changes like adjusting the length and width of the bridge as well as adding in some extra details. I use one millimeter thick clear acrylic for the bridge. One of the super useful features of the BMO is the onboard camera. But in order to actually see the clear acrylic, I marked the edges so the camera would be able to see it. It's as simple as opening up the Beam Studio program, selecting the laser cutter that is connected through Wi-Fi, and then drag the camera icon across the build area to reveal the material ready to be cut. Now I can import the file I want to cut. Position it so that it's over the material in the machine. Next select the power and speed settings. This is 1mm acrylic so I used 30% power and 12mm per second. But those settings will vary depending on the material and the environmental conditions. It's quite mesmerizing watching the laser do its work. But also remember to take appropriate safety precautions when working with lasers like proper laser approved safety glasses. To assemble the bridge, you'll need a suitable acrylic solvent cement.